Good evening everybody, Johnny Jans here coming to you on day number 52 Hulk roller coaster of this thing that I'm doing. And yes, I am once again in Islands of Adventure tonight. And you like comic books and action and especially Marvel. Did you know there's a place in here at Islands of Adventure where you could get awesome comics and collectibles of other Marvel things? I bet you didn't. So I want you to come with me inside Islands of Adventure because we have a lot to do. So let's get to pandering around. Our adventure tonight takes me in the heart of Marvel Superheroes Island. And much like the other things here where we have such typical names like diner and store and even shop, we have the continuation comics. And that's what we're gonna check out tonight is comics and Islands of Adventure has some of the coolest comics and collectibles I've ever seen in any theme park. So let's head on inside. And here we go as we enter the store. You know this is action packed because we got the words BAM, ZAP, and POW. That's how you know it's gonna be pretty exciting to see some things in here. We are starting off the night with a bunch of awesome collectibles, sign posters of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, Deadpool, we got different busts of Wolverine, Spider-Man, fun, funny, almost like Funko Pop type style, Captain Marvel, Captain America, and Iron Man, obscure characters like Mojo, I mean, when have you ever seen Mojo in any theme park store? I bet you haven't. You got Magneto and Professor X that they almost look like they're from, they're Marvel Legends, but they ki it kind of looks like the James McAvoy style Professor X. Look at the background, all these cool, like comic book adventure comic characters jumping out. Look at Magneto, he looks so intimidating. Wolverine looks like he's gonna rip out of the comic and rip your face apart right now. He's so angry. These cool action figures. Look at this Iron Man. How much is this thing? Figures are $90. I want all this stuff for my coffee table. I wouldn't even have enough space on my coffee table. I'd have to build another coffee table to put all this cool stuff on there. Look at this, we've got different t-shirts and hoodies with all the cool Marvel characters. I mean, you can get Marvel characters at Disney, but they are just not as cool as this. And then, if you like comics, well, welcome to the comic section. If you're looking for a particular comic, maybe you like one particular story and you want the entire book right there, well, they have it. And it fits so well into Marvel Superhero Island. Look at Carnage here. Oh my gosh, he just looks awesome. Or this Venom, where just things are like happening like crazy. All these cool t-shirts. I like this t-shirt with all the Captain America drawings and the different classic Marvel comic book strip so you can wear your favorite characters. If you like Deadpool, and who doesn't? Look at the Deadpool shirts here. Now it's time to make the chimichangas right here. And Deadpool's ready in that bag to a fun piggy bank style Deadpool. You know I love me my coffee mugs, and check out these mugs. This mug has like all the different Marvel superheroes right there, and this bigger one has got them all striking a pose. Look, they got some of the newer release comics here from the Avengers, it's been almost the MCU. There's Killmonger right there in the Wakanda issue. <laughs> but Zap Bam indeed, look over here. Look at Captain America's blue shield on display next to this awesome lifelike Captain America when he picked up Thor's hammer in Endgame. Only $1,925, folks. That can sit on your coffee table. Or maybe the giant Igor suit from Iron Man 3. Here's Rescue, Pepper Potts and her version of the Iron Man suit. What's oh, the Whiplash suit from Iron Man 2? That's what that is, that's cool. You got Ultron. I love this store, or should I say comics. It has just the coolest stuff to look at. Look at Carnage, that is amazing. Look at the detail of the, 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 uh, the weapons just protruding out of his arms and he's right next to the man Venom right here. And I want that. 
my living room, one in my bathroom. I bet this Venom would make an awesome doorstop. It's $1,200, but I was informed that you might want to go online and actually check the prices because this possible that this actually has gone up. So if you're a comic book collector, this is legit a great stop for you because you're they're gonna have things in this store that you just can't get in other stores and I've heard that other collectors they come in here just to Islands of Adventure to just get a piece of some of this stuff looks like Marvel even jumped on the lounge fly backpack craze because they have a ton of them for almost every superhero that you like and villain right down to Loki I mean is he a villain anymore I don't know oh we got Stan Lee from his part in Thor Ragnarok as the barber right there. That is a fun collectible, right? And it's only $385 next to the What If or Captain Carter, $415. You got Vision from WandaVision wearing his alternate comic book accurate costume from that one episode of WandaVision. You got Hulk versus Tony Stark in the Hulkbuster from Avengers Age of Ultron, another Hulkbuster, Brie Larson's sign posters, Captain Marvel, there's another one if you're in that kind of thing. Uh, Loki down here from the Loki series. Now here's the man right there. You can't make it through any kind of comic book or collection store without a little Goldblum action. Jeff Goldblum put his John Hancock, the Grand Master from Thor Ragnarok. Here's more awesome and expensive decorative action figures right here. <laughs> I would take almost any one of these if someone wanted to buy me one. Here we got Tony Stark's version of the Infinity Gauntlet on the Iron Man suit at the end of Endgame. You can own that and perform your own snap for $250. Again, check online because a lot of prices are subject to change as things go up. White Magneto for $135. And last, we have this epic art that's on the wall. And I wonder if they change this art. I bet they do, I bet they change it out. Right now they got Ant-Man there, because he's kind of the hot thing right now with his movie. Captain America, he's always pretty cool. Got Mysterio, Jake Gyllenhaal signed that. That's awesome. The WandaVision, look at that WandaVision poster. That is amazing. They're, to a Marvel fan, this place is like heaven. Just want to note, this painting Captain America is $3,000, so let that be known. And what place here at Islands of Adventure wouldn't be complete without stopping for souvenir pennies? But in this one, look at this, we got Venom, we get Spider-Man, Iron Man, and the Hobgoblin collectible pennies. So definitely worth your $4 to get those pennies right there. Well, there it is, folks. A look at comics over here at Marvel Superhero Island in Islands of Adventure. And definitely, definitely your one-stop shop if you are a comic book or collectible Marvel collector in here. Again, this is world-renowned. People come in here from all over the world to check out some of this merchandise and comic books all the time. The guy who worked in there says they, they keep changing things out all the time and buying. Somebody just bought a $4,000 Marvel painting the other day, they said, of Venom. So that is crazy. That's, that's what we're dealing with back there. So I definitely recommend if you are a Marvel fan of any level like myself, come check out this store if you got time while you're on vacation. It'll be worth it especially if you buy something. But that's gonna do it for me on this 52nd day of this thing that I'm doing. But until next time, I'm Johnny Jams, and as always, I'll catch you out there. Hand ring around. And I think looking at all that fun Marvel stuff has got me really excited. I got about 10, 20 minutes before the park closes. I think I'm gonna go get on the Hulk and get my rage on. Yeah, Marvel. Yeah, Hulk! Woo! And tonight, the wait time for The Incredible Hulk is only 15 minutes. So I think it's a fitting way to end my night with the little Hulk. Nice. And if you like this video, I appreciate that so much. Please click like and subscribe just to know where I'll be meandering around next.